This is Lucas Moore with Big Gold Belt Media. Welcome, Malcolm London and Haley. I want to first ask you all about what family dynamic will we get to see this season after the explosive finale, after all the emotions, after everything that each character has gone through? What can we expect to see from the family this season? I think uh, I, I will first first I want to acknowledge that incredible artwork behind you. Right. Let's, go, let's go there. Uh, but I I think again with the with the writers, they don't let the audience get complacent with the show. So if someone was if someone super got along in the first season, the second mm -hmm. season they may not have gotten along. We see that switch around with. Uh, Marvin and Lulu. We see even the dynamic between Jukebox and Marvin, or with with uh, with Rock, or with Marvin and, and even Neek. We was yeah. running for each other in season one, and then by the end of season two, he was giving me notice about about the Italians and so forth. So the writers are yeah. good at just always, you know, flipping things around with nice plot twists. So to the point where sometimes we don't even know because between, <laughs> between the editing. <laughs> And shooting out of order, I don't know what they're gonna keep in, in the show or what they're gonna get rid of. It's, we don't shoot on the same day. We don't know as much as y'all think we know. I'm trying to tell you, we don't. It's a guess, yeah. us, man. But that's kind of the idea, at least. Yeah. Okay. We're a little separated, right, so I think, a little bit. Okay. Well, funny enough, London's the only one who's I think connected to everybody. Second would be yes. him. But I'm definitely the most disconnected, and so is everybody else. We're not in the same, you know, world. Same so stratosphere at this point. Yeah. Exactly. Stratosphere is a great word. Yep. Yeah. So speaking of that, with Lulu this season, we, we understand just how disconnected he is. We understand after his studio is destroyed or shot up because of the incident, yeah. what mindset are we going to see from him this season? I think he's defeated. He's struggling with defeat, spiritual defeat. I think it's tough. You know, he's just trying to attempt to recover, attempt to get back on his feet after being devastated by his own family member, by his own circumstances, by his own choices. So I think that's a it's a very existential journey for your boy this season. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And Haley with Jukebox, the character that one everyone loves, absolutely loves. Everyone's waiting for Juke to get a win somehow, some <laughs> season. <laughs> how is it or how will we see Jukebox grow from last season? Will we see the tragedy that she went through last year with her mom passing away and with her attempting to mend some form of relationship with her dad? What can we expect to see from Juke this season? It wouldn't be jukebox if there weren't some tears. So there yes. will be. Uh, um, I think the fans are going to be really excited. Um, we, the thing is with Juke, Sasha set an incredible foundation for her because a lot of people didn't like her. Like, I was, <laughs> I was so surprised. People, when we were doing our season one press, they were like, girl, we don't, mm -mm, we don't mess with her, you know, from Pow from the original Power series. Um, we're starting, we've set that foundation so that people care about her. And now we're starting to see how she, she starts playing chess in her life. Um, she's starting to step into the driver's seat. And I think that's going to be really exciting. Yes, yes, yes. And Marvin, with everything that's happening I'm sorry, with London, with everything that's happening with Marvin, with the therapy, with with the self-work that he's doing here, are we going to see a character that is a little different or completely different from what we've seen in the past season? Will we see more growth or will we see him revert back to the character that everyone loves, the guy who crashes up every car humanly possible that he has? Well, going off the, the email we got for the junket that said that we can speak freely about this. I'm assuming that this is going to be shown after the first episode. Um, we're going to see someone that's really different or an advanced version of difference. Uh, Cause he's, you know, in season two, he was different from where from, he was in a transitional period. Um, and so now we got the, we were able to see some of the things that he learned uh, from therapy really be put into effect. You know, when he was doing the breathing thing, he was, he was, trying to understand how to do this slow down a process idea 
Um, and I think that moving forward, we get to really, excuse me, we get to really see him like living the thing that uh, he wanted to, to, you know, try to be. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I'll end it with this question. And it's for all three of you all. What are you hoping that the audience gets to take away from this season? This has been possibly the the best show of the power universe. This is the show, the prestige show that everyone looks forward to and everyone couldn't wait to come back. What are you all expecting or hoping the audience gets to pull away from this season? I mean, you have one of my favorite records of all time behind you called Trouble Man. And yeah. I... I, there's a certain empathy that Marvin communicated in that song that I think and I would like the I would like the audience to share that empathy with my character particularly. I want I want them to give him the amount of amount of grace that you would get from listening to that record, which honestly, yeah. yeah. Yes. What about you, Haley? What do you hope that audience gets to take away from Jukebox this season? She's a badass. She really is. And um, I would say thank you for your patience these last couple seasons. <laughs> <laughs> no um, but yeah, just knowing that like she's getting there. She's getting there. Thank you. Thank you. And London, any final thoughts on where we can expect or hope to get from Marvin this season? Uh, uh, the same thing, which is, you know, people were, I think Marvin did was getting some empathy last season. And um, I guess we'll just see what, what have, what the results are from Marvin trying this new way of, of thinking and living. And we'll, we'll see how, how that plays out for him. All right. And thank you all for your time. And me and the audience can't wait to get deep into Razor Cane in season three. Thank you, Lucas. Great taste. Thank you.